Hi, you're back with Simon at English Coach and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about developing your future goals developing your future goals into uh, writing down the cycles of your future goals and how they are going to progress in the future itself so if you're very far away from your goals right now this is going to be harder to do but if you have if you feel like you've already started to work on your future goals you've already made a start your 10% of the way or your 15% of the way toward your future goal this is the greatest practice that you can put into practice and that is to start writing uh, what's going to happen after those goals are, are reached so for example um, my second goal is to well, my first goal really is is to have another apartment so then I'm gonna write about that I'm gonna write the deadline which is three years I'm gonna write a little bit about how that's gonna help my life how it's gonna give me extra income in the, in the long term but then what I'm really gonna be doing is developing that idea so after three years I want my second apartment after five years or six years hopefully five years I want my third apartment so I'm already writing about the goal after my goal or a progression of that goal toward a dream which is where there are uh, many more many more uh, aspects of your life taken into into account also um, all of your goals so you're uh, increasing your active income increasing your passive income uh, spending less, saving more, uh, and then having those deadlines as well. So I'm, 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 I'm saving X amount this year, next year I'm saving XX amount, and, and so on. And so the progression of the goals and the way that I wrote it down is I wrote it down by number. And I included my 10 major goals in the first 10, and I listed them and I numbered them. And then the next 10 that I wrote down were corresponding to those goals after those goals were achieved or a continuation of, of where those goals were going. And then I did that again for my 20 to 30. And, and this is the way that I'm telling you uh, is, is quite ef effective at bringing clarity into, into where your goals are actually going and which ones actually make sense to the rest of your life because you're able to uh, look at look at uh, what that goal is going is going to give you once you've achieved it in the short term and where that goal is going to take you to your next destination and in, in fact your next uh, aim of success or your next uh, idea of success after that so that it really has to come together pull together to be something more than just uh, a three-year goal or a five-year goal but something that corresponds into being your three year then your five year and then your seven years okay and then even if, if you're a little more uh, open maybe your nine year or your ten year and it's not easy in fact and, and so after you've done your first ten it starts to get easier good luck and I uh, wish you well with with the endeavor of listing out your goals and developing and progressing with those future goals and, and seeing where they lead to. Thank you.